Hi, I'm going to show you how to make a flip book. So what you need is four pieces of paper and it's good if it's a little longer than regular paper and a stapler and some different colored pens or crayons or colored pencils. And the first thing you're going to want to do is you just take one piece of paper and you just lay it lay it on the table and then take your second piece and you put it down just about an inch below the first one. So. And then you take your third piece and you put it down and you just put it about an inch below the next one. So you're just kind of lining everything up like this and then the next one goes about an inch below that one. So you end up with your papers stacked, but with about an inch, not even an inch, like the width of your thumb between each one. And then what you do is you take your pieces of paper that you stacked up with your little finger work width at each end and you carefully pick them up like this and make sure they're even and then you just fold over so here's here's my stack and you fold this part up like this so there's also then a finger width space right there so when you fold it over you're going to fold it up like this and now see you have twice as many flaps. So I'm just going to do that and then make a crease. So now I've folded it over. I made my crease up here. It used to look like this. And I just folded it down like this. And I'm just going to staple it up here at the top. So take your paper that's been folded and has all these little tabs now. Take your stapler. And just add three or four staples to the top like this and now you have a nice flip book and you've got you could this is going to be my cover page and I've got one flap for each different paragraph so I'm going to go ahead with my colored pens I'm going to go ahead and label these different color for each one and I'm going to label them for all the different paragraphs. So the first one here, I'll, I'll label introduction, description, habitat, diet, locomotion, young, and conclusion. Now 